Realistic dragons would be a nightmare for humans and any humanoid species because of their great body strength, their ability to breathe fire, ice, lightning or noxious gas, or depending on the various dragons, and they at least, compared to other more, bestial threats, high intelligence. All of these factors would make dragons easily the apex predators of any fantasy world, if they could achieve high enough numbers. Think about it, how would we humans in a medieval fantasy society respond to a fire-breathing dragon? While cities and castles could evacuate their inhabitants to deep fortified structures, a city is still unable to feed itself eventually. And here's the problem, be it wheat, be it barley, be it rye, potatoes, corn, rice or any other crop, in order to feed a society large areas had to be planted and tended to, so a dragon would be easily able to spot these farming villages from the air, and unlike cities and castles, the peasantry living there would be poorly armed and ill-prepared to actually fight off a gigantic, fire-breathing, flying, magical lizard. The dragon would probably just incinerate their houses, thereby making the peasants inside of them run into the open fields, where the dragon would pick and eat them at a leisurely pace. Farming in general, and cattle farming in particular, would be nearly impossible with hungry dragons nearby that prey on humans. Humans would be essentially turned into hunter-gatherer societies again, and likely live in the forest or any other place where aerial predators can't easily spot them. Fishing might also be a great way to feed oneself and a society, since relatively small fishing villages built in the mountainside or in the forest, operating rudder boats, shouldn't be something that a dragon would have an easy time spotting, especially if they only go out at night or when the fog sweeps the coastlines. Also traps would be a great way to get some meat, because instead of raising cattle, which would be easily spotted from the air, picking a deer or a rabbit out of a successful trap, out of a bear trap, um, if you are particularly ambitious, would be possible. Because again, a human wouldn't stay at one place for too long. And planting forests out of fruit-bearing trees, like pears or apples, would also be possible. Humans would essentially live like elves. And maybe elves in such a setting are just humans, living on a continent with dragons, while humans, um, original humans like human-like humans, would live on a continent without dragons, and therefore the society, and eventually the species, would split many, many eons ago. And I know what you are thinking right now. What about dragons? I mean, what about castles? Could they withstand a draconic assault, or would humans just have built their scaly adversaries a convenient air fryer? Now, being roasted inside of a castle would require dozens, if not hundreds of dragons. For stone castles are first and foremost very cold, and it would take a lot of heat in order to turn the stone castles into an oven. Way more energy that the dragons would gain by actually eating the then fried humans unless an absolutely legendary dragon would be able to cover the entire fortress in flame for hours on end. It wouldn't be a very practical thing to do. But of course, dragons could just get one of their claws into one of the arrow slits, then tear out the outer wall and then send in their flamey breath deep into the castle, to this very opening. If dragons are even just one of the primary threats to humanity, it is likely that most castles would be built within the earth or into a mountain, leaving only very small entrances, maybe barely wide enough for a human to carry a barrel of rye or wheat into the castle itself. Also, there would be large empty rooms right behind this entrance, in order to dissipate and absorb the flamey breath that any dragon could send in there, and perhaps a small stream would be redirected 
to at least partially flow through the underground castle in order to not only be providing the castle inhabitants with a source of drinking water, but also with something to cool down the entrance and maybe the entire castle with, if a particularly powerful dragon would try to roast them. And lastly, in a world where dragons reign supreme, they could literally lord over humans. Humans would be allowed to farm crops and cattle, but aside from some burnt scraps, they will be unlikely to receive the meat for which they worked, for it will be used exclusively to please and feed their fire-breathing overlords, who might form some sort of feudal structures of their very own, with many different kingdoms, or led by various dragon families rising and falling, all while humans labor day in and day out in order to feed themselves. So again, when dragons are a thing, I believe they would quickly rise to the top of the food chain and dominate everything. But as usual, this is just my own opinion. What is yours? Please let me know down in the comment section. And you're hearing right, I'm still quite sick. So sorry for my voice cracking and shifting tone all of the time. Again, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all again soon in my next video.